Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Hey, kids. I'm Q, the Coach the Rican, coach of the Chicago Dragapults. We're back here, guys. Another Pokemon Draft League battle. It's the beginning. It's Friday. We got three days of Draft League coming your way. Let's fucking go. We're here in the WPF week two, going up against the homie Gentleman Thomas, coach of the Copenhagen Galades. Yes, sir. That's what it is. He's got. A, he doesn't have a Galade though. He's got an Iron Valiant. Um. A uh, really good guy. Go check him out. Link to his channel in the description down below. My first time ever battling him. I don't know how versed he is in, like, you know, Wi-Fi draft leagues. But, hey, it's my first time battling him. So, hopefully, it's going to be a good one. Link to his channel in the description down below as well as all the other coaches that are in the WPF. Go check them all out. Really good uh, uh, group of dudes. Uh, but, yeah, with that being said, let us talk about the matchup that we are going to be going into right now. Put it on the screen. Boom. We have... Iron Valiant, which is it's just a huge threat. He's got Iron Valiant, Hisuian Zoroark, Ting Lu, and Omniterra Thunderous T, which is kind of crazy. Kind of insane. Can be any type it wants to be. Uh, Scizor, which is also very threatening. Uh, young Serena, Haxorus, uh, a Delphox, a Quillfish, and a Belly Bolt. Uh, so yeah, really strong team. Uh, I'm really, really worried about the likes of Iron Valiant. I think Ting Lu... Uh, can be pretty manageable. I actually really hope they bring Ting Lu because I have a few, uh, I have a few good, I have a few good tech, just one good tech for it really. Um, Thunder T, like previously stated, pretty strong. If they land their Focus Blast, it'll be pretty hard to not die from it. But we have a few things to potentially. Actually, really, we don't. We actually have one thing to potentially. Uh, we have we have to we have to set up before they come in. Is what we have to do. Um, Scizor, very threatening, very strong, uh, very strong end gamer. Uh, Serena. Could show up as well. Very good spinner. Haxorus, a little threatening. Delphox. This actually might... No, this is the same. Okay. Delphox. Eh. Don't really care about Delphox, to be honest. But I did do a mock where the homie brought Delphox. And it actually did endgame me. So, shout out to Delphox. Uh, Young Quillfish, which I do expect to show up. And then the homie Belly Bolt. Uh, but, yeah. really think a defensive Quillfish is a must here because of my Quackable. Um, Ting Lu, I feel like, needs to show up potentially. But also, I could see them uh, not bringing it. But I really hope they do. Um, and, uh, yeah, with that being said, let's talk about the battle we are going into, be bringing, we are bringing today for the battle, the, the, the battle. Uh, we got the homie Contrary Enam. Bring in Terra Ground again, and hear me out. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I don't know why it's Terra Ground. It probably should be Terra Fire, but it also, yeah, I, I, so, so, so here's the thing with an Amorous. I can, I can definitely get, I can definitely get set the fuck up with an Amorous in front of the likes of Tinglu, which may or may not be the switch in. I know it's weak to Fairy. But uh, it does have the special attack dropping, you know, nature. So I feel like nature ability. So I feel like it definitely could show up if they think I'm going to be special and be like some sort of AV set with heavy slam. And with that being said, I'm explaining what I should be, but it's that I'm Terra Ground. I don't know why I'm Terra Ground. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember. I guess it's actually for Thunderous. I guess that actually makes sense. Yeah, it was for Thunderous and then I could revenge with plus one play rough. I guess that was it. But we do have Taunt on here for the Tinglu if they want to, you know... Uh, go into it, tank some hits, and then potentially whirlwind me out so I can't set up. We can taunt them, which is really nice. Up next, we got the homie Choice Band, Bax Caliber. I've decided that this is just the league where I'm going to see how many times I can get away with bringing Bandit Bax. It's really strong. Uh, they do have a Scizor as like the quote unquote main switch into it. Sure, Quillfish can tank a hit or two, but they don't want to take Bandit Glaive Rushes. You know what I'm saying? So I do think that their main switch into the Bax Caliber is going to be Scizor. And the more damage we get on Scizor, the better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, that Mon, if it, if it, if we give it a turn to set up, it's kind of over. So we don't want that to happen. Uh, up next, we got the homie Quackable with the Assault Vest. Uh, this, we kind of really only needed three attacks on Quackable. Aqua Step, Close Combat, and Ice Spinner pretty much cover the whole team. I just put Rapid Spin on there in the off chance that there's an end game where like, okay, I'll win if I don't have hazards up. Or if, yeah, if there's no hazards on my side. So let me click Rapid Spin. That's kind of what that's there for. But once again, we actually are aiming for an end game Quackable sweep. Uh, with Aqua Step, but we can get an Aqua Step off in front of, once again, Ting Lu. If we can get an Aqua Step in front of Ting Lu, that'd be really nice. Uh, we could Aqua Step in front of Scizor. Um, they obviously do have a Quillfish, but we can weaken that down pretty well with our own Quillfish getting spikes up as well as crunching it and stuff like that. And, uh, I'm pretty confident because they might want to switch into Quillfish for Bax Calibur on, cer on a certain turn as well. So that could also be really nice with weakening it. For Quackable. Up next, we got the homie Gudra as potential Iron Valiant bait. I'm really hoping this will work. We are Chopper Berry, Heavy Slam to be able to Oko the Iron Valiant. I ended up just putting Shelter Body Press on there in the off chance that we get free turns in front of like the Ting Lu. Then a Shelter in the two Body Presses should be able to knock that guy out and then Flamethrower for the Scizor. 
in case they are like banned in close combat. That, so Gujra's either going to catch Scizor or Iron Valiant off guard is really the idea with this set. And then up next, we got the homie Quillfish because I think they're bringing their Quillfish. I want this to be a Quillfish off. I'm going to be clicking spikes and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Taunting their opposing Quillfish because I do have a little bit of speed invested into me. I do think if they do bring the Quillfish, it's going to be max Fizz Death. I don't think they can afford to have any speed. So I only have, I think, like 20-ish. Yeah, 20 speed into my guy to be able to outpace their Quillfish. And then last but not least, we have the homie Mesprit because behind screens, Quackable and or Enamorous can kind of pop the fuck off. Uh, we have Mystical Power, Fire Punch, Fire Punch to be able to knock out the scissor after getting a mystical power off on it or just any chip really uh we just need like i think we need like 30 percent off of the scissor in order for fire punch to oko and then we have lights can reflect to better help us deal with the likes of like a potential specs iron valiant banded scissor nasty plot thunderous things of that nature but yeah that is the team we are going to be taking into wpf week three if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and click that subscribe button like the video draft league weekend is upon us every weekend for at least seven more weeks so you know what I mean? Stay tuned. And then and then throughout the week, we also have like just regular 6v6s as well as 3v3s going on the channel. So a lot of content for you guys to consume if you want to. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the team as well as uh, how we're going to do in the battle. With that being said, I hope you all enjoy the battle. All right, and here we are with the battle. We are in week two of the WPF. I would act surprised that we don't see a Ting Lu, but the homie and I uh, swap teams or like, yeah, we told each other teams. Cause I get, cause he needed it for his layout or whatever. I don't use a layout, so it's all good over here. But um, yeah, super surprised at um no Ting Lu. Like just super surprised at no Ting Lu. Everything else pretty fucking scary. Scizor kind of bops. Iron Valiant kind of bops. It's it's a tough one. So what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna pay attention to see what the Zork disguises as, or at least try to, at least right. If they lead off with it, which a lot of people tend to do, and like, I don't know. We'll see. It we'll see. If it's if it's like Quillfish in disguise. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be Intimidate, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. So I don't know if they'd want to give that away super quickly. Um, but it's also just like, Quillfish is a good lead against it, in theory. So yeah, let's just see how it goes. Let's see if we can do what we need to do. Banded backs for the second week in a row. We're going up against the homie Thomas. Link to his channel in the description down below, as well as all the other coaches in the WPF. Without further ado, your boy is petrified. Let's get it going, though. Can we win a game in the WPF? Stay tuned, folks. You're going to find out right now. Well, in the, in the next, like, 10 to 30 minutes, who knows. Uh, super, super edgy fucking team card. Holy shit. Alright. They do it off with the Quillfish. Is it Intimidate? Everybody wants to know. It is. My Intimidate goes off first. And they did not Intimidate. That, sir, is definitely a Zorwork. We click Crunch. That is a million and ten percent of Zorwork. It is a Quillfish off turn one. I'm bigger. I'm bigger. My tail looks cooler. You know what I'm saying? This guy looks... I don't know. what I was going to say schizophrenic, but I don't know if that was offensive or not. He looks schizophrenic. They're Quillfish. Mine looks drugged out. But I'm clicking Crunch. It's free. It's so free. This is this is literally... There's no shot they wouldn't bring... Oh, let me move this over here. There's no shot they wouldn't bring... Like in uh, like non-intimidate quillfish, you know what I mean? If you're bringing quillfish, that's the quack answer. No shot, you're leading off with it. They do click the taunt. Things you love to see. We're getting free crunches. This dies if it's not sash. It is indeed sash. All right, good to know. Um, I will. Should I mark this? I was I was thinking about like, cause I always take a picture of. Oh my god, those over. I always take a picture of like the team. You know what I mean? Oh, this is bad. Because if they switch into theirs, they'll be able to get up a spike. And I do not like that at all. I could go for the Barbarage to try and get a... Uh, Barbarage contact. I could go for the Barbarage to try and get like a poison on something crazy. But they could also just go Scizor. So I'm just going to crunch. Barbarage would be cool to get like a poison off on something. But they did taunt turn one. So... The good news is if we get a spike, this thing's dead forever. I mean, if they stay in and we kill it, that's also good. Um, and also, we should be able to not ever forget that uh, this is the Zoro because it's always going to come out at 1 HP. So, we're good. I got a burp. <gasps> Don't mind me. Oh, my God. They do just Hyper Voice. All right, perfect. So, they could definitely get their Quillfish in and get up a Spike. But honestly, I will take Chip on that. They did do a fuck ton of damage to us. 
by the way. Holy shit. What is that, like, modest? Oh, wait, that's... Hold on. What was that, like, modest? I guess that's just normal. Um, best case scenario, they give me chip on Scizor. Second best case scenario, they don't go Quillfish. That'd be nice. I mean, chip on Thunderous is also really nice. Like, I don't know what's gonna what they're going into right now. But what I'm hoping is it's not Quillfish. Because I just don't want to have to deal with hazards. I just really don't. Didn't bring a spinner. I, I, my hazard control is taunt. And I can't taunt. They'd go out into Shinzo, which is not the Quillfish. It is the Schizor. So perfect. We're going to be able to uh, get a crunch off. Chip this thing down. I don't think Bullet Punch knocks me out from this range. Uh, unless it's banded. Um, and they don't go for Bullet Punch. Uh, we do get good chip. And they go for U-Turn. All right. So now, I think we I think that we shake off the taunt. If they go into their Quillfish, we'll be able to get up a spike. And we'll just go spike for spike. Uh, they could definitely go out into their Thunderous. Which, if they do that, I'm cool with it. Bro, Mesprit low-key fucking gets a mystical power off and prospers. Zangatsu. Zengetsu. It is this guy. Okay. They just want to get a fucking kill with it. So this this means it's not fucking booster energy. It's probably specs. And for that reason, I hate myself. Uh, we are going to bar barrage with the best of them. So no hazards for us, unfortunately. Their quillfish probably will be able to get some up. But I can... If I go out into Gujar, that's so obvious. You know what I mean? In front of this thing. Like, that's so obvious. But I still want to. Let's see what they click. Like, I still want to... But it's just so obvious that I would be like, oh, you're Choppel. Why else would you do this? You know what I mean? It's just so obvious. And also the Quillfish. Like, I can't really do much to that. I mean, in theory, I could just... Oh, they move last. Okay, Life Orb. Show me Life Orb or something. Show me Life Orb. Show me Life Orb. No Life Orb. That's fucking specs if I've ever seen it. Um, I mean, <laughs> I go Mesprit, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, go Mesprit. I gotta go Mesprit. I, I, I literally gotta. Maybe we can bait in the fucking Scizor. Is Scizor in range? After that crunch? It might be in range, actually, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what I'm gonna do is... I am... Gonna get up a Reflect. Because I think... Yeah, I'm gonna get up a Reflect. I'm going to get up a Reflect, because they shouldn't stay in, in theory. They should either switch into Scizor, maybe even Belly Bolt, and then, like, a Reflect and a Light Screen could go a long way here. So, I'm, I'm getting a Reflect in case they go hard Scizor, because they do withdraw. Okay, perfect. Because I would want to Fire Punch them twice. They go, whatever this is. This is Belly Bolt, I'm assuming. What are these names? Is this another Demon Slayer battle that we're doing? <laughs> this is another Demon Slayer battle. Um, belly bolts, belly, belly, belly bolts. Uh, so we can get off a light screen, I suppose. I'm going for, I'm going for it, man. I'm going for screens. I don't know what I bring out in front of this, but hey, we're going for fucking screens, dudes. Earthquake Oko's this thing if it's just max HP, no fizz death. So that's the goal there. I would be shocked if they went into Thunderous in front of a, uh, you know, in front of a fucking guy. Uh, they do discharge. They do para me. Very unfortunate, but hey, you know, that's just the way the cookie fucking crumbles, guys. Uh, we're gonna click Mesprit. Mystical power does fuck all. Uh, I do want to get backs in now and just click Earthquake and see what happens. Just don't discharge para me again. It's just that simple. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's literally just that simple. If they Volt Switch, that's cool too. I live a hit behind screens from Scizor. I can click Earthquake into going back into this guy. <laughs> and then we'll see where the day takes us, you know? I'd be shocked if they Volt Switch, though. They do discharge. Okay, don't do it. Please. 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 Very unfortunate. I mean, hey. What, what are we going to do? You know what I mean? But they don't go into the flying type. They have to take this bandit EQ. I'm sure I'm still faster than a belly belt while paralyzed. You know, all is okay. All is somewhat okay. 
Uh, I'm actually not faster than a belly bolt. Wait, no. I'm I'm looking at something different. I actually am not faster than a belly bolt while paralyzed. They shouldn't stay in though. They should either give me Scizor or Quillfish. Or they do stay in and they give me this, which would be great. They Volt Switch. Bro, do not go into Thunderous. It makes no sense. It just doesn't make sense. I'm an Ice type. Like, there's no shot you go into Thunderous. It just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. I'm wasting my screens at the moment. I can't believe fucking this guy got fucking parried. So this tells them that I'm not super speedy. Because I would have outpaced them while being parried. If I was just like adamant max speed. But I am adamant like no speed. I'm, I got a lot of bulk in this guy. Because I need to live a hit from something. Shinzo. That's not that's not thunderous. That's this guy. This thing's dead I think. Oh so close. Me with no rocky helmet user. Um, I'm going back into this. To my other paralyzed guy. Uh, because even if they U-turn, so be it, man. I think they bullet punch, though. We're behind screens. Like, obviously, we can get this kill, but I would love to preserve HP on this Bax because I can still live a Focus Blast from Thunderous, unless it's Specs. And especially if screens are up. So, I'm I'm good with this. Oh, my God. Two fucking Paras on Discharge. Crazy. Some people are just so lucky, you know? Some people are just so lucky. 30% chance? Nah, bro. It's a 73.5% chance for them. We're not going to get a little too salty. It's it's a very early game. You know, a lot of game left to be played. They do U-turn. They pop a Yui. That's got to be fucking banded. I am, in fact. You know what I mean? What's it called? Uh, so this is our last outing with Mesprit. What did we do with screens? Not much. Not going to be... Not going to lie. Um, that Scizor as being alive on 1 HP really, really pisses me off. It really pisses me off. But you know what looks good here now? Icicle Crash. As well as Earthquake. I doubt they go Quillfish. That would be insane behavior. Because I, I am a Psychic type at the end of the day. You know what I mean? I wonder if Earthquake did more to Scizor than Glaive Rush. If I should have just went for it. Oh, they got this fucker. Bro, we have screens up. Bro, Michigan. do you, be, be great. Be great. Land this Mystical Power, please. You gotta break through Para. You have to land. And then you have to hopefully do... 78 to 94 percent which would be insane that puts it in range of ice shard that puts it in range of everything 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 all at once oh my god please shout out to i don't know the actors names please i don't even know if we live this like to be honest do a light screen if there's specs do we we do all right well it all comes down to this it all comes down to this come on mesprit i know you can do it Oh, they double. Good job, good job, good job. Can I at least get some chip on something? Can I at least get some chip on something? Chip on something would be great. I love this game. I actually love this game. This game's so fun, dude. This game is so fun. I mean, we have no fucking turns left. Nothing matters anymore. Like, this is all so stupid. Um, I mean, I go back in a backs, so I get another kill. But I'm just gonna chip this. Because, I mean, they, 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 okay, they could have ult switched, but they discharged. All right, that did fucking zero. And we, oh, I love this, this game is just great. This game is just great. It's a great game. Like, why doesn't everybody play this game? It's so great. <laughs> why doesn't everybody play it? Why doesn't everybody play it? They get two 30% discharge paras. I get one full para, one 90% accurate, two 90% accurate mystical powered misses. You just love to see it. You just fucking... I get a reflect up, okay? There's a silver lining to everything, guys. I get a reflect up. I probably don't get a, get a light screen up, which is much more beneficial. But I get a reflect up. Surely I get a reflect up. I get a reflect up. It's not, it's not the end of the world, guys. A light screen would have been nice, but we get the reflect. And that's all that matters. I can't fucking believe this game, dude. Oh my god. This thing would have been so chipped... Oh, it would have been so great, but no, no, no. All right, in the backs we go. In the backs we go. Let's click Icicle Crash, guys. Let's click it. We're clicking Icicle Crash. I mean, they could go into Quillfish now, but would they really risk Quillfish? 
when I have the Quack in the back. I think they sack Scizor, if anything. That's the only thing that helps with the Reflect. That's so silly. I actually hate this game. I'm gonna Icicle Crash. So silly. Watch them land a Focus Blast, too. Like, sometime later in the game. Just watch. Just fucking watch. Two 90% accurate Mystical Power misses and two Discharge Paras. Crazy. Fucking crazy. Oh my god. Fuck a belly build. I go acapella. Alright, let's just get uh, let's just kill something with Icicle Crash, man. Show me something. Bro, give me Thunderous. That'd be insane. They're not going to because they're they're, they're 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 pretty smart from what I can tell. And uh I, I I but it'd be nice. It would be nice. It would be hella nice. Let's see what happens. I am eager and waiting. I do think that is Specs Valiant, and I kind of just lose to that anyways. But, if it's not... If we get Thunderous here, that'd be insane. Zengetsu. I don't know if we saw that already. Oh, bruh! No, come on, bro! You're kidding! This was dead! This was fucking dead! Bro, you're fucking kidding me. I, ca I can't. This was fucking dead. Oh my god. This game's so fucking ass. This was literally dead. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I can't get over that now. That's so fucking shit. I'm dead. I just died. Whatever. GG's. GG. It was a fun game. Great game. Great fucking game, dude. Great fucking game. Glad I queued up today and played. Really fucking glad I queued up today and played. Great fucking game. Couldn't have asked for a better game. Oh my fucking god. That's so stupid. I fucking hate Pokemon. I genuinely do. Wow. I'm just gonna get 6-0 because of that now. That's great. That's just so cool. That's just such a cool game, dude. It's actually a really cool game that we're playing today. It's actually such a cool game. So here's what I want to do, right? Oh my fucking god. I'm having an aneurysm. I want to double into... What's it called? Predicting the Quillfish. But they honestly probably just sack off Scizor. But I'm, I'm just going to heavy slam. Maybe they give this to me. I, I doubt it. Yeah, I fucking doubted it. I can't believe this shit, bro. That was literally dead. That was literally fucking dead. They do go Quillfish. I should have doubled. I should have fucking called it. That was literally fucking dead, bro. Like, it was literally fucking dead. I, I can't with this fucking game, dude. I genuinely cannot. And they're just gonna fucking click T-Wave again. It's just, they're just gonna prosper. That's all that's gonna happen here. I, I fucking lose. I literally just lose. I just lose. I should have made the double. That's so fucking ass. Valiant would have been fucking gone. Oh my god. I can't get over that. I just can't get over it. I genuinely just cannot get over it. I lose. The game's over. I fucking lose. The game's fucking over. They're just gonna T-wave me here. Okay, taunt. Okay, different. That's different, that's different. I want a superpower before... I don't want a Terra right now, but I kind of have to. I mean, I just gotta fucking go for it. Oh my fucking... I just can't with this game, dude. I just can't with this fucking game, dude. Stay in. I just can't with this fucking game. We just got... Omega fucking hacks. Like, oh my god. That was the dumbest fucking game of all time. They do go out into what? Scizor? I don't remember who this is. Okay, Belly Bolt. Cool. I could have saved the Terra. Oh my fucking god, bro. Does this, does this die? I had to make the play on an Amorous. Just because of the fucking shit-ass position I'm in now. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, I do kill. Okay. I guess go for that again. I don't even need to fucking... Wait, does it, does it really? Wait. 
Um, yeah, because I'm at plus one. Wait. How much did that do? Is this not max HP? Did I crit? <gasps> oh my god, I'm dying inside, guys. Oh my fucking god. Did I crit? No, right? I might have crit. I mean, I'm just gonna click it again, I guess. Oh my fucking... Okay, we didn't kill. Weird behavior. Alright, I mean, if they muddy water me, then I fucking... I get an evasion raise. So, like, that's cool, I guess. Oh, an accuracy buff. Oh, that... Good damage. Great damage, dude. Oh, that is... Is muddy water not the one that lowers accuracy? Or is it a chance? It might be a chance. Whatever, we lost. It's over. The game's fucking over. There's nothing we can do now. It's, this is a fucking shit-ass fucking outing. Oh my god. I mean, okay, the... No. No, the Quillfish isn't shipped. Yeah, it's over. It's literally just over. I can't win. What a shit fucking game. Two... Discharge Paras. Two 90% accurate Mystical Fire misses. Two... Very important. I think three very important full paras. Like, oh my fucking god, this game. Yeah, get out your Valiant. Get a kill. Enjoy it. You've earned it. I can't fucking take this shit anymore. Oh my fucking god. This is the dumbest fucking game of all time. It's over. I just lose. Like, there's nothing I can do. Like, even if they're not specs that kill, it's, it's just fucking, it's just fucking over, yeah, it's just fucking over. That's so fucking unfortunate, bro. Like, I can't even, like, I can't do shit now. I literally can't do shit. Like, it's just, it's just over. Like, Quackable, Quackable definitely fucking dies to fucking specs. Val I, it's just, it's just over. It has nothing to do. Yeah, it's just, it's just fucking over. Cool. Great game. This is just glad I queued up today, dude. Really glad I queued up today. Can't believe this shit. Yeah. Withdraw. If it sounds like I'm depressed, I am. I'm very depressed. Like, it's the absolute fuck. Like, the, just the absolute just shittest, like, interactions we've gotten so far. It's just been just ass. The Rocky Helmet, I didn't even notice that last time. Just absolute shit. I'm just gonna shelter. I, I don't have a win con anymore. It's over. Like, I just gotta shelter. Get your spikes up, brother. You burned it. Like, maybe I put this in range of Quack. That's my win con now. Uh, they're faster than me, so they're gonna taunt here. Fucking over, dude. That's so fucking shit, man. What a game. What a game. Big damage. Oh, yay. We got a crit. Yay. What a shit fucking game, dude. Oh, I just keep body pressing. There's no reason not to. Mm -hmm. Get your spikes up. Get your spikes up. I mean, like, I get a kill of Quack, maybe. Like, that's just maybe. If, it, if this gets in range of Quackable, like, maybe. How much, like, what do I need it to be at? 16%. Okay, another one will do it. Um, I don't want to kill it. Is this 16%? No. How much was I doing with body press? And this is at... Is this like at least 23%? It is... Mmm, would a heavy slam minus one? Heavy slam at minus one will put him in range. I mean, I gotta go for my, my win con, right? They do thunder wave, okay. They wanna die. Wait, can they even touch me?
I gotta go hard quack. I mean, this is the only way I win. Like, I lose otherwise. They should just T-wave again. But I lose otherwise. So, this is just what I have to try to do. The smart play for them is to just to T-wave again. They taunt. <gasps> just hope, boys. We stuck. We stuck. I don't think we Oko like Iron Valiant at plus one. But yeah, you know, it was a fun game. It's a great game. We definitely don't. They just go Valiant and they win. It's just, it's just fuck. It's just over. It's just over, dude. We don't fucking Oko anything at plus one. Fucking shit ass game, man. Like they gotta give us this and Belly Bolt, but they're they're not that they're not stupid, dude. <sighs> we get the kill, yay. Doesn't matter. I literally have to like crit the Valiant. It doesn't matter. It's just over. Like it just does. If, if the Valiant was chipped, you know, if the Valiant was chipped or dead, you know, maybe. But no, get full parrot on a fucking turn when you switch into a choice banded max. What a game. What a great game. I'm hella salty. Let me know. You know what I mean? Like, it's fine. I'm aware. I'll get over this by the time it gets posted, but still, like, it's fucking so shit. Like, oh my fucking god. Alright, show me not Valiant. Show me not Valiant. I mean, Thunderous probably lives a hit too. Like, I mean, everything lives a hit. They're all at full HP. Everything lives a hit. Giving me Belly Bowl would be nice, but I don't, I don't think they do that. That would just be silly. No Zarashi. Okay, I mean... They Terra here, potentially, because this is their Terra Captain. Don't know what type it is. Ice Spinner would kill if they stay a flying type, but Aqua Step does the most outside of that. Uh, so we just click Aqua Step. I could try and close combat, predicting some sort of insane Terra. Because like if they're like Terra like Fire, for instance, well then Aqua Step kills anyways. Well, let's, whatever, let's just kill it. Let's just kick off. Kick off so. They do Terra. Is it something that close combat would have killed and I just threw? Because otherwise, if that's the case, I could have just won. Terra Fire. Terra Steel! Oh my god, close combat would have won the game. I actually would have won, which is crazy. I actually would have won. Survey says. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no shot. No shot. Wait, I'm not getting excited. I'm just not getting excited yet. I can't get excited yet. I'm not getting excited yet. I'm not getting excited yet. I'm not getting excited yet. I'm just not. I'm not getting excited yet. I'm not getting excited yet. I'm not getting excited yet. Okay, this guy's in. We just Aqua Step again. Unless they're Sash. Which they definitely... No, they're Specs. They're 100% Specs. They're 100% Specs. They're not Sash. I refuse to believe. Okay. Brothers. 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 Brothers and sisters alike. I was looking at my analytics the other day. I have like a 7% female uh, audience. Brothers and sisters. Quackable might have done it. Hold the, fuck, hold the fuck up. This guy. Bullet Punch does 30 to 35% if they're banded. Oh my god. Oh wait, they're dead. Oh wait, it's over. This is the last mod. I thought- I didn't know Belly Bowl was dead. Okay, well, that was fun. Great game. <laughs> this was the most we this is the most hacks filled fucking game of all time. Like, honestly, just so shite. They do Bullet Punch. Do they crit me back? For the one time, they don't. Quackable actually, ironically, pulls the fuck through. Gets you a duck that can do it all, man. I just- I was, I'm, I'll be the first to admit it, guys. I was hella salty this game. I'm, I'm, I'm man enough to admit it. You know what I mean? I ain't no, my man raised no bitch. I was hella salty. Like, 100%. Like, you know, a lot of hacks happen in this game. Let's just call it off like I've been doing the whole battle. You know, two, 
Two, discharge immediate paras. 30% chance, by the way. Just got it twice in a row. Who, you know, who wants to know about it? Not me. Uh, two, 90% accurate mystical fire misses. Was it actually 90% accurate? It might have been 95. That which would make it worse only. Which would make it worse. And then like three full paras on two of them. Very, very important turns. It is what it is. But hey, you know, get you a quackable that can aqua step with the best of them. And you, you too could be able to prevail through all the hacks in the game. With that being said, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. We finally get a win in the WPF. Two weeks in. Got a fucking W. Shout out Quack. And uh, yeah, if you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you Roast me in the comments if you want for being salty. It was justified, IMO, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm going to get about here. Uh, go check the homie out. Uh, I, I'm going to go eat a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> See you all in the next one. Peace.